Welcome back to Move with Nicole. Today's class is a Pilates workout focusing on strengthening your glutes. This class will be a knee friendly class as there are no squats involved. So when you're ready, roll out your mat and let's begin. Let's start in a tabletop position on our hands and knees. Make sure that your hands are underneath your shoulders and your knees are underneath your hips. Really draw your navel in and lengthen through your spine. Let's warm up our left hip with some hip circles. So press your left knee back, open your knee to the side and lower. So you lift the knee back, open it and lower. Three more in this direction and then we'll reverse the circle. Two. And last one. And reverse. Open your knee to the side, move it back and lower. Open, back and lower. Three more. Two, taking the circle as small or big as you need. Last one. Beautiful. Let's now flex our left foot. On your exhale, press your foot up to the sky, squeeze your glute, inhale, lower. Exhale, press up, squeeze your glute, inhale lower let's do eight more like this now you can stay up on your hands if that feels good for you or come down onto your forearms like me if that feels a little bit better wherever you are really focus on lengthening through your spine drawing your navel in and really finding that squeeze at the base of your left glute as you press your foot up to the sky Two more. And last one. Beautiful. Let's now take three pulses at the top. So you pulse up for one, two, three, then lower your knee down. And again, exhale as you pulse up for one, two, three. Inhale as you lower your knee. Eight more like this. When you press your foot up to the sky, slightly tuck your hips under. That way you'll feel a little bit more of a squeeze in the base of your left glute. In this class, we're really focusing on trying to activate our glute muscles. So with every movement, really try to move with intention, focusing on activating your glute muscle. You're doing really well. Keep your gaze towards your fingertips, making sure that there's one long line all the way from the crown of your head to your tailbone. One more, you can do it. Excellent job. Hold your leg up now and let's just take pulses. For 10, nine, really press your heel up towards the sky. Six more. Five, squeeze your glute. Three, two, and one. Now hold the press, point your toe, and extend your leg back. On your inhale, tap your left knee behind your right knee, then exhale, extend your leg straight back. Inhale, tap. Exhale, extend. Eight more. Keep your hips square to the floor, making sure that you're not rocking through your hips. Inhale, tap. Exhale, extend. Drop your ribs down towards your hips and pull your navel up to really make sure that you're not arching through your spine. Let's do two more. And last one. Well done, hold your leg extended. Time for a funky movement. Flex your foot now. On your exhale, squeeze your left leg into the midline towards your right hip and then inhale, release. So exhale, squeeze the leg in, inhale, release. Eight more like this. This is a really small movement. I want you to focus on squeezing your glute muscles together. So imagine you have something in between your butt cheeks that you're really trying to squeeze. Just two more, exhale, squeeze in, inhale, release, exhale, squeeze, well done. Now let's just finish with pulses up and up. 
Really drive your heel up to the sky, but keep slightly tucking your hips under so that you squeeze that left glute a little bit more. Three more, two, and one. Well done. Lower your leg down and then come down onto the right side of your body. Apologies that I'm not mirroring you for this exercise. Rest your head in your hand. Bend your knees at a 90 degree angle with your knees in line with your hips. And then using your top hand, really push your left hip away from you, finding a nice lift through the underside of your waist. Then exhale, lift your left knee up, inhale, lower. Exhale, lift up, inhale, lower. Eight more like this. Place your left fingertips on the floor in front of you, or you can also place your hand on your hip, whatever feels good for you. Let's do two more. And last one. Now let's add a kick. So inhale, lift your leg. Exhale, kick your leg forward. Inhale, bend. And exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Exhale, kick forward. Inhale, bend. Exhale, lower. Eight more like this. Try to kick your leg forward directly in line with your hip really working into the outside of your left glute. Keep your left knee nice and lifted. Be careful that it doesn't start to drop towards the floor. Keep breathing, inhale, lift, exhale, kick. Inhale, bend, exhale, lower. Let's do two more. And last one. Good job. Let's kick our leg forward again. And this time, inhale, sweep your leg back in line with your hip. Then exhale, flex your foot and kick your leg directly forward. So inhale, point, kick your leg back. Exhale, flex and kick your leg forward. Eight more like this. Really make sure that you're keeping your leg at the same height as you kick your leg forward and back. Try to stay nice and lifted through the underside of your waist. So if you want to, place your hand onto your top hip and just try to push your hip away from you just to find that extra lift. Really try to find length through your leg as you kick it back, pointing through your toes. Let's do one more. Beautiful. Hold your leg back now in line with your hip and let's now lift our leg up and forward, then lift it up and back. Nine more. Drawing a nice big semicircle forward and then a semicircle back. Again, try to keep your top hip nice and still. Be careful that it's not rocking forward or back. We want to keep that left hip directly stacked on top of our right. You're doing really well. See how high you can lift your leg. Exhale as you lift, inhale as you lower. Exhale, lift, inhale, lower. Let's do two more, you can do it. And last one. Ouch. Let's now flex our foot and on your inhale, pull your knee forward towards your chest, then exhale, extend your leg back. Inhale, pull forward, exhale, extend back. Eight more like this. Keep your left knee nice and lifted as you draw the knee forward, really engaging through the outside of your left glute here. As you extend your leg back, Think of pushing your left hip forward, finding more of a squeeze through your glute. Two more. And last one. Okay, final move. Slightly turn your thigh inwards down to the floor and let's finish with pulses. Four, 10, and nine. You've got it. Eight more. Seven, 
Lift it a little bit higher. Six, five, four, three. You're doing really well. Two and one. Excellent job. Rest your leg down. Give your glute a little bit of a massage. And you know the drill. We're going to do that straight away on the other side. So come back onto your hands and your knees. I'm just turning around so that you can see me better. And then lengthen your spine and really draw your navel in. Let's start with those hip circles. So point your right toes, press your right knee back, open your knee to the side and lower. Press back, open and lower. Three more in this direction. Taking as big or small of a circle here, we're just warming up our hip. And now let's reverse. Open your knee out, send it back and then lower. Open, back and lower. Three more. Two. And one. Okay, from here, flex your right foot. Exhale, press your foot up to the sky, squeeze your glute and inhale lower. Exhale, press up, inhale lower. Eight more. Stay up on your hands if that feels good for you or come down onto your forearms like me. Wherever you are, really press down through your hands or press down through your forearms to stay lifted through your upper body and really draw your navel in. Two more. And last one. Now let's take three pulses. You press up for one, two, three, and lower. Press up, two, three, and lower. Eight more. Exhale as you press your foot up. Inhale as you lower. Again, really focus on activating through the base of your right glute. So as you press your foot up, slightly tuck your hips under so that you find more of that squeeze. You're doing really well. Keep your gaze towards the tip of your fingertips, keeping your spine nice and long. Last one. Beautiful. Hold your leg lifted and let's now take pulses. Four, ten, and nine, eight, seven. Really drive through your heel. Five, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful. Extend your leg, point your toe. On your inhale, tap your right knee behind your left knee and exhale, extend back. Inhale, tap, and exhale, extend. Eight more. As you extend your leg back, really think of trying to find more length through your body. Finding one long line all the way from the tip of your toes to the crown of your head. Keep drawing your navel in, keeping your core engaged. Two more. And last one. Now for that funky move. So flex your foot on your exhale, squeeze your right leg into the midline and inhale, release. Exhale, squeeze in, inhale, release. So again, really think of squeezing both butt cheeks together. So there's something in between your butt cheeks that you're really trying to squeeze. It's a weird movement, but when you get it right, you really feel your glutes activating. Two more, you can do it. And last one. Now let's just finish with pulses. Lift the leg up and up. Really drive your heel up to the sky. Five more, four, three, two, and one. Excellent job, lower your leg and come down onto the left side of your body. Rest your head in your hands, bend your knees at a 90 degree angle, making sure your knees are in line with your hips. Then really lift up through the underside of your waist, 
maybe finding a little pocket of air between your waist and the mat. Then exhale, lift your right leg up, inhale, lower. Exhale, lift, inhale, lower. Eight more. Keep your leg at that nice 90 degree angle as you lift your leg up and make sure that you're not rocking through your hips. Three more. Two. And one. Now let's add that kick. Inhale, lift your leg. Exhale, kick forward. Inhale, bend. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Exhale, kick. Inhale, bend. Exhale, lower. Eight more. Try to kick your right leg forward in line with your hip and really keep your knee nice and lifted. I know I'm a broken record. You're doing really well. Three more. And two. One more to go. Beautiful. Let's extend our leg forward again. And this time on your exhale, sweep your leg back in line with your hip. And then inhale, flex and kick your leg forward. Exhale, point, sweep your leg back. Inhale, flex and kick your leg forward. Eight more like this. Try not to forget about your core here. So keep dropping your ribs down to your hips, pulling your navel in and trying to find that lift in the underside of your waist. You've got to keep your leg at the same height as you kick it forward and back. Let's do two more. And last one. Hold your leg back and let's take those half circles. Lift your leg up and forward then up and back. Exhale as you lift, inhale as you lower, exhale, lift, inhale, lower. You can do it. Keep this movement nice and controlled. Make sure that your hips are not rocking. Try to keep that right hip stacked on top of the left. Okay, only two more, you can do it. Can you lift that leg up a little bit higher? Last one. Well done, hold your leg extended back and flex your foot. On your inhale, pull your knee forward and exhale, press back. Inhale, pull forward, exhale, press back. You're doing really well, keep breathing. There's only one more change after this and then class is over. Keep your knee nice and lifted. Inhale, pull forward. Exhale, press back. Just one more. Beautiful, hold your leg back, slightly turn your thigh down towards the floor. Let's pulse it out to finish. You lift and lift. This is it. Can you lift the leg a little bit higher? Only six more, you've got it. Five, four, keep breathing. Three, two, and one. Excellent job, rest your leg down. Give your hip a little bit of a massage and then pop yourself up. Let's stretch it out. So come onto your glutes, extend your right leg straight, flex your feet and open your left knee. On your inhale, reach your arms up to the sky and exhale, hinge forward. Feeling a beautiful release through the back of your right leg, in your left hip and in your spine. 
Then carefully lift your chest and cross your left foot over your right thigh. Bend your right knee and slide your hips forward, feeling a beautiful stretch for your left glute. A very well-deserved stretch. Carefully release your legs and let's switch sides. Extend your left leg, flex your foot and open your right knee. Inhale, reach your arms up and exhale, fold forward. Taking nice deep breaths here, just enjoying this stretch. Then carefully lift your chest and then cross your right foot over your left thigh. Bend your knee and slide your hips forward. Really open through your chest, roll your shoulders back and enjoy this beautiful stretch for your right glute. Then carefully release your legs and let's now open our knees, bringing the soles of our feet together. On your inhale, lengthen your spine and exhale, fold forward. Keeping your spine as straight as you can here, feeling a beautiful stretch for your hips and for your glutes. Then carefully lift your chest and just come to a comfortable cross-legged position. Let's finish class like always with one last big inhale, reach your arms up to the sky and exhale, lower your hands down to your heart. Thank you so much, everyone. I hope you enjoyed today's quick booty class. If you would like to see more classes like this, don't forget to like this video, leave me a comment, share this video with a friend or family member and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much and I hope you have the most beautiful day.